So we're back in the Trailblazer beta again today, and we are going to check out the last, I think it was six, of the multi-mounts uh, that are actually available for the platforms that are here in Spring Creek Manor, but... Yeah. I was just walking around the lodge before I started. It's really cool to see just how filled up this got, just based off that new stuff. And like I said, there's six more uh, that we actually have to do, but I set up beforehand this time. We're going to Yukon for, I think it's bear hug is that what it's called yeah we need two male grizzly bears but i don't have to drive a four-wheeler across the entire map this time so hopefully that goes a little smoother there's one that can help us running into nothing but females going over through here but that should be fine because once we get to that like back corner down that way a little bit almost surely there's got to be a second male but i was kind of just like thinking as i'm running along here staring at female grizzly bears that I can't use for that. I really hope to see more, like, options added for those plaques, because, like, they have the one where there's a coyote, like, spooking a bunch of mallards up. I don't see why there couldn't be, like, a red fox spooking the harlequin ducks up. Same idea. Uh, there's, like, coyote chasing a rabbit. I think jackal chasing scrub hair would be good. Actually, there's two male bears there. On the off chance that we can find a melanistic, we'll probably go... Uh, into that kind of back corner area I was talking about. Did that not get along? I hope it did. Definitely did not. I don't know how the heck I did that. But, we'll try to uh, assist things there. That'll help. Alright, there's another seven. Let's see. Should have just shot when he'd slowed down there. Alright, thought I messed that one up. I thought I made the first shot, and I didn't. Thought I messed that one up and actually got it. it was actually pretty dang good. Caught the vertebrae to make sure we got full quick kill. I think we're going to end up two with like the same fur variation, this like kind of darker one. But all the males that I uh, saw on the way were that one. So did I just hit... Alright, well... Glad to know that wasn't me, because I'm pretty sure that actually is through the lungs. You know what? That actually is a lighter variation, so at least they'll look kind of different. And now we'll go get to see what the different poses are. We're actually running low on the, uh, the larger ones. Gosh, that's, that really shows the size of them. There's actually a good number of poses with this. I think I like that one just because you get the best view, like, coming through either door. Yeah, we'll go with that. Gosh, this stuff's so cool. I love it. Uh, the next one's less cool. It is Bunny Squad. But it goes on the small ones. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, that should be, like, these. This is a small. Yeah, perfect. So, like, again, I have a ton of these in my main lodge that just aren't filled because I... I don't know what to put on them, a single rabbit or whatever, it just seems lame. But, that'll be something we can do, a little bunny squad. So what did that actually, was it two male, two female? Yes. Oh my god, hi. <laughs> I knew I was stocking up on a rabbit, I didn't know it was right there. Well, that's uh, one of the two females we need. I have other tracks and actually I think a zone up there from them. See if there's enough here to just sit around. There we go. So we got at least three of the four that we'll need. I don't know if it's just the two down there. There's another one. Another male. Perfect. Alright. We gotta shoot halfway decently but hopefully we can maybe get two here and then just wait a second. Actually, if we can just pop both of these. Okay, that wasn't cool. <laughs> Got pushed away. Alright, we'll just wait then. So they actually went down there. Alright then. We'll go ahead and grab the one we got. Which is brown. So if I can help it, I'm going to try to shoot 
a gray just to have some difference. Although, those two sitting side by side like that, I think we can get them both. So if I spot that one... Ah, just missed it. Well, I know where they're going to be for the last one anyway. It was actually a lot further than I thought. I think I zeroed for 50 on that, so... That might actually make sense. But I hear one. This time I definitely need to be zeroed for 50, but hopefully that's a male. There's a gray. It's a female, but... We're going to kill that just to get the variety. And that's a male. Almost managed to dodge my shot, but... That'll actually finish that one out. And like, hopefully they do this for scrub hair as well. Because right now it's just the jackrabbit. But that's kind of what I was talking about earlier when we were looking for grizzly bear. Just hopefully as uh, more updates happen, we get more options for those kind of things. Oh, these round ones are actually considered small as well. So we'll just go ahead and put the whole squad there. It doesn't look like there's like a ton of poses, but... Good number of like different stances you can have them all in. Pretty cool. And then I think the next one's red deer. Yeah, flea state. So we have a male. I don't know how big. Let me look. And unless I'm missing them, not very big. So let's actually go look for one then. That's a big red deer. Just a mythical, but I think that'll look really, really good for uh, for what that uh, specific multi-mount wants. So hopefully we can get him and then maybe I can just fire a shot into the herd and get a female. Eh. Uh, that might have been high. Probably vertebrae. I think I actually hit her again. That other one was kind of in the way, but... Yeah, she's maybe dying. I'm actually not 100% sure that is the bigger mythical rack now, because he's only 223. But I thought... No, that's actually not it. That is the smaller one, but... Either way. Still uh, a lot better than what I kind of figured I'd find just for a quick run. And then, question is... What direction did that female go, and can I actually find her? Yeah, she didn't actually make it that far, but this is another one. Like, getting a rare of some sort would be really, really cool. Just straight through the vertebrae as well. But, that's another one we can go look at. Oh, so that's cool. It's kind of hard to tell from the preview picture with that one, but it's just two kind of fleeing red deer. I think probably we'll go with that. Yeah, with like a, a big diamond. That would look really, really neat. The next one I think is another one we're actually set for. Because it's just geese. We just need two males, which I have. In fact, I have exactly two. So we'll just do that. And that needs medium. So I think... This... Will work anyway. I think... Yeah, I'm definitely going with that. There's a lot of really, really cool poses they did. Like, for the fact that it has to incorporate multiple animals, I think it's quite well done. Uh, but next, we have the white tail fighting we can't do because that requires the massive platform. And then we have huddle row and collision, which I don't know if I can do better than what I have. But we'll go and get the three road deer we need. That looks like quite a big roe deer for a two. Yeah, it looks huge. How far actually is that? Because I might just go for it. 340. I would have guessed that was a three, to be honest. Well, goes, he's got to be like 930 or so. Like, I could see the outline just with binoculars all the way back here. He looked huge. Didn't even get a footprint on the way over to get a weight estimate. I guess he doesn't have the mass, but he looks quite similar to the the diamond we actually did kill. Hello. 
No touch. Ow. Did I? Eh. Thank you for that. Anyway. Eh, 904. I really, I don't know if it's a mass or what. That's kind of cool. He's got a, like a fourth time. But he looks exactly like my diamond to me. But either way, we actually got a good one for that, uh, Huddle Road here. And then this thing charged us. But yeah, that actually, uh, makes my life a lot easier. Because the only reason I went this way is it's a bit of a run over from the outpost. And I wanted to give them time to actually settle into their drink zone here because they take a little bit. Wow. Well, I might as well go for it. Because they are road here after all. What a beast. <laughs> 627 with full bonuses. I'm not going to mount them anyway. I'm not going to lie, I've been doing this like most of the day, so I don't really have it in me to try to find three big male road here. So we'll probably go somewhere that's uh, hopefully a short run and get one more buck. That looks good enough to me. <laughs> There's actually going to be some uh, antler variety because we got that level one. I'm still kind of bummed that one didn't score higher than 904. Like I really thought he might have been something. Well, we'll drop him there. I think he's actually a gold looking at him. And I think that's our last one, because like I said, the collision one, I don't think I can do better than what I have. And if you watch the Twitch stream, you've already seen it. Hey, he is actually a nice little gold. 836, so hopefully I remember to taxidermize everything. Because I did that earlier. Luckily it was my it was the red deer, uh, but it was my last unsaved harvest. I think I taxed that at level 1. And actually, I was looking earlier, we have, like, exactly the number of platforms we need for this. So, there's our road here. Can I get the big guy in the front? Maybe? Yeah. I really... I guess it's gotta be mass. I still can't believe that, but... That looks pretty good. I don't know if it needs to actually have that big a platform. I didn't look. Uh, large, so it definitely doesn't. I think the, like, round ones would work. And then the collision, if you haven't seen it, is this. And it's one of my favorites, and I happen to have this little albino buck. And I just think that works perfectly. Like, probably if a puma were to take down a buck, it's probably going to be, like, a younger one. So that's really cool. But, uh, if I could get in edit mode properly. There's a couple of different poses. That one's quite cool as well. But I think the... The one where it's actually going for the jugular is pretty dang cool. So yeah. Uh, I might... I think I killed this in the live game. I'm actually not sure. That might have been a, a beta one. But either way, I've got some small rare black tail and white tail that we could uh, set this up with. But I'm super stoked for this lodge. They did say like it's more big game oriented. Which... That's pretty much the only thing I'm interested in in this game. Like, I don't really bother with geese or ducks or rabbits for the most part. So it should be great. And all these uh, multi-mount things and the ones we're missing out on. Like, let's go and see where is Breadwinner. That one. With the lion, like, or the lion pride kind of taking down the Cape Buffalo. Like, that's awesome. But yeah. That was... It took most of the day. But that was really fun getting to see all the different things that we can do, and like I said, I'm, I'm quite ready and stoked to actually basically start over with a brand new lodge, because the one we have going is pretty well done. So the timing is quite good, and we'll get to start uh, start fresh, kind of. But anyway, I think I've probably rambled enough. I feel like this video might be extra long to begin with, so I think we'll wrap it up. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.